Congratulations again. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. So is this a start of maybe Pixar going to be doing other cultures as well for their films? Uh, it's possible. We have a lot of different diverse directors at the studio, and uh, if they come up with ideas that are about certain cultures, uh, then we'll make those films. Did you know it was going to be this successful when you started this project? You know, we never know. And we always have this very humble approach to it. And we just do our very best. And all these movies are hard. And in this particular case, we had the uh, the whole cultural aspect to pay attention to and get right. So um, we hoped it would be, we always hope it would. But you never know. And we're, we just couldn't, we're overwhelmed with uh, how well it's connected around the world. My last question, how, uh, you've, you've got an Oscar before. How confident are you about the chances of winning this, this Sunday? Well, I never count my chickens before they hatch, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're very hopeful. And again, we're just, we're happy that it's even nominated. That's an honor in and of itself. It truly is. Yeah, very much so. Best of luck to you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Council member, uh, congratulations. Uh, celebrating the Coco Day. Yes. <laughs> we're very, very happy today. Coco being one of the top movies made last year. And particularly, we find it significant that a movie made about the unity of the Mexican family, yeah. of the, about the culture, one that's done in a very authentic way, uh, is, is key and critical at this moment because Donald Trump continues to attack the Mexican community, the Mexican immigrant, the DACA students. Uh, he began his, his presidential campaign with a straight attack and assault on the Mexican community. And so we believe it's very important to have films like this that give an authentic portrayal of what uh, the Mexican experience is. Uh, I'm, I'm an immigrant. I just became a U.S. citizen recently. Thank you. Thank you. So how can my fellow immigrants, you know, be hopeful in times like this? Well, they have opportunities and they, they need to take advantage of them. Here in Los Angeles County, 850,000 uh, Mexican immigrants have permanent uh, legal status. They need to apply for citizenship. Yeah. Those who can apply need to apply. Those who live here as citizens need to register to vote. And those who have registered to vote need to vote. Uh, They're not victims. They need to take control of their lives and, and contribute and get engaged, and our lives will improve as a result. So this is you calling out uh, my fellow millennials to be, to be involved, to be active. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. To be involved. Uh, protest is great. It's wonderful. But there's also something called the vote, and uh, they need to be involved in that aspect of the political process as well. Not just hold people accountable, but actually pick the people who share your values and your vision for, for a better America. All right. Thank you so much, Council Member.